Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday number 90. Should I tell people the truth? Question. Should I tell people the truth? Sometimes I see a friend suffering, making bad choices. It pains me to see them repeat their mistakes. I know that if they just started a yoga practice, if they would meditate and they would eat well, their suffering would be less. But I doubt my words would have any real impact on them. Should I tell them my advice, even though I doubt they would heed to it? Okay, there are two points here to discuss. And these two points are, if they are followed properly, then your friend would make a shift. If they're not followed properly, you might end up in losing a friendship. So the first important point is, are they ready to receive your advice? There are five levels of maturity. The first, the first two levels are means that they are not ready to hear your advice. If they're on the level three, then there's a possibility. So level one is about their readiness. So um, first of all, they might be in a lot of tamas. Tamas is the that inertia, that stuckness where they are clouded, their vision and their understanding about life and truth is very heavily clouded. So they might feel more like a victim to life. Uh, victim, when they're in that mentality, they are not ready to receive your advice because they're in it. They're stuck. It's a tumus. It's a veil. It's a heavy veil over, over overwhelming them. The second level is rajas level. Um, they may be, uh, their mind may be too busy. They have too many thoughts. They will probably be reactive to you. They will, um, they're, because their mind is very busy, they're agitated and they can't settle down. That means that um, they're, they're too overwhelmed with stimulus, then what will happen is if you speak to them when they're either in level one, which would be a Thomas, their reactivity would be they would blame you or uh, feel like they are being attacked by you. If they're in Rajas, then, um, then they will um, feel that you're hurting them more. They will um, want to get back at you. So those two levels, um, they're not worth it for you. If they're in one of those two levels, it means they're not ready. If they're in the third level, there's a possibility. The third level is that there's the, their mind is busy, but there are these moments of retrieve or where there's um, some silence or um, there's clarity of mind. And only when you are in it, when both of you are in that place of stillness and they're, you're, they're talking, you're talking, and there's a kind of a stillness, you might be able to bring in a point of advice and they might be receptive to it, but it really is dependable on the timing and um, the state you're in and the state they're in. So timing would be really important if they're on the third stage. But if they're on the level one and two, it won't work at all because they're just simply not ready. They're not mature to that level to receive help. Um, and there are two other levels, but that's not needed right now. But you just need them on that third level. This is about their readiness. The second point here is about your readiness. So there's this principle called um, affinity, rapport, 
and communication, ARC, A-R-K, Affinity, Rapport, and Communication. Now, are you ready to give your truth? Uh, and this, these are the conditions for your readiness. First is affinity. Do you love them unconditionally? Do you like them? Do they feel that you like them unconditionally? So that has to come from you. If you're having some kind of a reaction to them, it's not going to work. So you have to just be in a state of love. So that's affinity, and they feel it. Rapport is that you have this ability to receive them and understand them, and they know that you're, that you're receiving them and understanding them. They feel, they feel that from you, and you feel that from them. So there's this rapport happening between the two of you and it feels good and it feels that there's support real like you have their back and they feel that that has to be in place first and the communication part of this principle is that when you communicate are you communicating without your ego motives are you communicating clearly? Are, are you able to articulate precisely what you see would be the correct help that they would need when they are open to it? This is a, also a little bit of a timing thing, but your communication is coming from a place of clarity, not from your ego. Clarity is more unconditional. You, you don't have an agenda that you need to feed for yourself. You're okay if they continue the way they are, and you're okay if they don't. There's no um, achievement on your side. And if they feel that there is, then they'll feel that you're manipulating them. So the, 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 the problem with speaking your truth without these two principles in place first is, is a great loss of a friendship because you're coming from the wrong place and they're not ready. So I hope this is helpful. Um, sometimes we have to surrender with, when it comes to a close friend because sometimes they, they might be just in that level one and two and we're just gonna have to just do a, a breathe in, breathe out and let go and watch and um, pray, maybe pray, but sometimes intervening at a time when they're not ready, they, you will lose them as a friend. Um, but the most important thing is you have to work on your arc, your affinity, build your affinity, build your rapport, and work on your communication skills. Okay, I hope that's helpful, and see you next Wednesday. Bye.